Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on Reading FC Away Days. I'm James and today we're going to be going ahead and going off to Kidderminster to give you guys a brand new match day experience. Now for me, this feels a bit weird. It's been about three and a half, four years since I actually done a match day experience. So standing here, walking around, talking to a camera, uh, seems a bit weird for me. Uh, obviously, I've still been going to games, I just obviously haven't done any match day experiences. And, you know, it feels a bit weird right now, uh, but I'm sure I'll get used to it after a while. Look, for what better time than to come back than now? It's the FA Cup, it's a glamour tie, it's a non-league tie against Kidderminster. Every year, Reading fans want a good draw. Every year, we want to not play a championship team that we play every single week. And we want to play a non-league team. And look, Reading have been drawn against the lowest league team left in the competition. It's Kidderminster. I think they're in the Vanarama North. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a non-league team. And it's really good for them that they're going to be able to play a bigger team like us. It's sold out. Look, we're not a big team. I don't know why I said that. But it's a big team in terms of the league of where we are so yeah i'm looking forward to really going to this game today um it's been a while since i was at away games probably my first one since the pandemic unfortunately due to work i've you know just been stuck <laughs> and yeah luckily i had this weekend off so i was able to uh go to this game but yeah really looking forward to this one uh, i have absolutely no idea what to expect from kidderminster as well um look they're a non-league team i haven't seen anything from kidderminster in years i remember they used to be in the football league but I haven't seen anything from in years, so I have absolutely no idea what to expect. Uh, I know the game's sold out, both home and away, so it should be an interesting atmosphere, to say the least, in both sides. Kidderminster are probably going to be loud, uh, and I'm hoping that the Reading fans are going to be loud as well, because it's been a while since we had like a sellout in the away end, so yeah, it should be good to go to that. Um, yeah, look, I'm not really too sure what to expect from Reading. If I'm honest, I'm expecting a second string side to play. Paunovic... Didn't really care about the competition last year. Um, when he ever, whenever he plays in the Carabao Cup, he doesn't really care either. So I'm expecting him not to care in this game. I'm hoping that he does care because we need a distraction from this relegation fight that we've got on at the minute. And look, a cup run's always a good distraction. So I'm hoping to see a good little distraction in an FA Cup run and I'm hoping to see a win. I'm expecting players like George Puskas to play. I'm expecting players like Felipe Aruna, Rafael, players like that to be in the team sheet, if I'm honest. Um, Andy Rinomoto's also back in the squad, so it should be interesting to see if he's going to play. Look, give him 45 minutes here or there, in my opinion. Let's get his fitness back up. Really want to see Rinomoto. In my opinion, the best midfielder at the club that we've got. Obviously, John Swift don't count. He's more of an attacking player. Um, but yeah, the best in terms of midfielders that we've got. Box-to-box -box centre midfielders. Andy Rinomoto is the best one that we've got. So, yeah, hoping to see him back into the team and obviously be able to then really help us in this dogfight that we're playing at the minute in relegation. Um, so, yeah, obviously this video is going to be out by now. Uh, so tell me what you guys thought about the game in the comment section below. If you're a Kidderminster fan, listen, you've probably just gone ahead and beat Reading. The big underdog story. You're in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Congratulations. Um, I'm not too confident, especially with the manager that we've got in charge. Hey, that's all I'm going to say on that matter. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Next thing you'll probably see me is going to be in the ground. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go off to that now. So yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Don't forget to like as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Today, the day Puskas finally scores. I bloody well hope so. Been let off already. There we go. Was in the spree. Hands. Touching hands. Reaching out. Touching me. Touching you. Caroline, do, do, do. good times never seem so good, so good, so good, so good. Let's go! 
you scores goals, George Bush gas. You know, better believe he scores goals, George Bush gas. You know, better believe he scores goals. in the morning. What can I say, really? <laughs> um, no, uh, just awful by Reading, wasn't it? Absolutely awful. Volko Panovic has no tactic. He literally has no tactic for when he plays football. At the end of the day, the man needs to get sacked. <sighs> and that's it. He needs to go at this point. Look, fair play to Kidderminster. They were all over Reading for 90 minutes at the end of the day. Look. Better the two sides. It's the same thing against Derby. I've said the same thing there. Same time against West Brom. Look, when was the last time Reading were the better team of the two? It's been a long time since we can say that. Look, Kidderminster played great. Kidderminster were all over Reading at the end of the day. Reading didn't deserve to win that game. Look, George Puskas scored good. Maybe we might get 500,000 extra for him now instead of, uh, instead of letting him go on loan. I don't know. Look, fair play to Kidderminster. I know I'm going to get a lot of stick in the comments about Kidderminster fans. Yeah, look how great Kidderminster are. Look, fair play, that's all I've got to say. You were the better of the two sides. It's the same thing that happened against Derby. It's the same thing that happened against West Brom. It's the same thing that happens week in, week out. Look, Poundovich needs to go. If I don't see that corner flag on Twitter, I'm going to be disappointed. The man needs to go. He needs to get sacked. And that's going to be it, really. Look, bring in Joby Mackinoff. Bring in, bring in Brian McDermott. Bring in someone. Bring in someone that knows how to run this football club because Velko Poundovich does not know how to do it. That's going to be it for today's Match Day experience, so guys. Look, thanks for watching. Fair play to Kidderminster. We'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace. So I thought that would be the end of me talking, but I've just read Paunovic's quotes after the game, and the man said that it was a good fitness test for the injured players. Like, I don't know if that's an isolated quote or what, but saying that after losing to non-league Kidderminster, the man's gone. No matter what, he has to be gone. The board need to realise that this man needs to be sacked right now. It's a good fitness test for injured players, yeah? It's disgraceful. It's disgrace Your manager shouldn't be saying that after losing to a non-league team. Look, get him gone. Get him gone.